Hey, welcome back, it's Ben again. Today we're going to take a look at how we can add multiple objects to our custom model for object detection using TensorFlow. Alright, so this video assumes that you've already watched through my either my videos or somebody else's videos for setting up TensorFlow, training your model, doing everything, everything else you need to do. This is just going to be a quick tutorial on how you can have multiple objects inside of your model. So we're just going to start off with label image, which you'll probably recognize if you used it before. So as an example, I'll just pull up the directory I was using before. Oops. Let's just go into here. I'm right now I'm training a chess piece or the pieces from a chess set. So let's do this. Okay, so you can see here I've already annotated some of these images before. So if you have multiple objects you want to detect, you can just draw multiple boxes and give them different labels. So over here you see I have king, queen, rook, bishop, and knight. So say I wanted to add the pawn. I could always just go like this and say that the pawn was down here or something like that. I could just create another new one like this. And then there, this box is a pawn. So you can do that in these images. You can have different types of objects or classes in each image, or you can make multiple images and each separate one has them in there. It doesn't really matter what you want to do. Either way works. So we're not going to save that. So once you have your annotations, uh, nope, we don't want to change. Ah, this way, okay. So once you have those annotations, it's business as usual. So after that, we're going to go into the generate TF record. I already have that pulled up over here. So there's a couple edits we need to make in this file. So in here where we have the label map, instead of just one, like we would normally have, you have to make it for as many as you have, which makes sense. So for me, I have the knight, king, queen, rook, and bishop. So it's just if we're label equals knight, we return one. And then it says a bunch of else statements. So for king, queen, rook, bishop, and we just give it a value of two, three, four, and five. That's gonna match up with our Ds. So once we have that, the generate TF record, you can go ahead and generate those records. And then we also need our object detection.pbtxt file. So before we just had one item in here, but if you want more, again, you can just kind of continue going along. So we have these little blocks right here for one item. So if you want another one, just keep copying and pasting that. And this is where our IDs match up. So make sure these IDs match up with the IDs we set up in generate TF record. And again, the names and everything like that should be okay. And then another thing we have to do is inside of your configuration file, I'm using the faster RCNN ResNet 50 for my model right here. So inside of this config file, I also have right over here, Another simple thing we gotta change, just up here for right here, the number of classes, it's normally one or whatever the default is gonna be. So again, just change it to the number of classes you have and that's all you gotta do. So that one's five. And then, so after this point, you would do the rest of your files uh, with your annotations, you've probably already converted them to first the, or the CSV and then you do the TF records and then you wanna train your data. So once you're all trained up and you've done all of these steps, once you're inside your actual file or script for running the webcam detection or whatever detection you want to use, there's just one more you got to do. And that's going to be right here. Again, number of classes. You just got to change the classes that you have. So in this case, again, five. And that's the same if you're doing it for images or if you're doing it for the video, it's just going to be five. And that's pretty much all it is to it. You've already done all the hard parts. <laughs> this part is pretty easy. I'll show you an example. I'm not gonna run through the whole thing right now because the whole program, but let's take a look if I have the detections. Uh, let's see. All right, I'll show you what I did before. So you can see here, this is a bad one, but there we go. We got knight, the rook, and the bishop. So we got three different objects in there. And I believe there's settings elsewhere. You can change like the colors if you really want to, but generally it'll make a different color for every different object you have automatically. So you don't need to worry about that. But otherwise, that's the whole thing. So a really quick video from me today. Hopefully I can make some other quick videos like this too, including using TensorFlow Lite and we can convert to that. But other than that, that's it for me today. And hopefully I'll see you next week. If you can, leave a like and subscribe. See ya.